Conditions Necessary for Combustion Now before knowing the second necessary condition for combustion, let us perform a simple experiment. Take a candle and light it. Now place the candle on a flat surface and place two wooden blocks on either sides of the candle and place a glass chimney on the wooden supports. Now we find the flame continuing to burn due to the flow of air from below the chimney. Now remove the wooden supports or blocks as the air does not enter from below. We observe that the flame flickers and produces smoke. Now lighten the candle again and place it back and cover the top of the chimney with a wooden plank. We observe that the flame turns off and this is due to the absence of air around. So we can conclude that air or oxygen is necessary for combustion to take place.